we kind of got wind of a story of a young U.S. player, um, Vincent Borden of New York from, I think, actually, Ithaca, New York, where Ziggy used to live. Um, and some reports are dubbing him as kind of the wonder uh, wonder kid here as far as going to Croatia from the United States and playing uh, for uh, Dinamo Zagreb um, over there in Croatia. So, uh, anyway, Ziggy, you on the line? Yes. How are you doing Hello? today? Thank you. Pretty good. Um, we just want to kind of talk to you a little bit about um, what you've done, uh, kind of the story with, with Vincent and how he got over there. So, how did you how did you first meet Vincent? Well, I moved, when I moved in Attica, I start uh, my club over there, uh, and uh, he was one of the young kids uh, in where one of the um, pretty talented generation, um, and I start actually where he when he was very young with all that group of the kids and. Uh, try to um, coach the similar way uh, what there will be clubs doing in Europe. Over here, you usually say, oh, when you're young, you don't need to have a, a coach. Anybody can coach your dead mom. And But then you create so much bad habits, so when you get older, uh, it's uh, hard to make up those habits. So it's very important, actually, uh, when you're young, uh, to have a, a coach what he knows what he's doing. And uh, basically... It's a, there was a lot of um, fun, but uh, using a lot of uh, technical work. And uh, entire my team uh, over there uh, was uh, very good and very successful. Uh, Vincent uh, yeah. decided, to go, uh, decided to go all the way through. I uh, said to some parents, Okay, your kids they are very talented and all that. And in this environment, will be hard to progress to the top level because of everything system of the competition. Uh, uh, also, the problem is that uh, when we play either side, we had a fairly good team, but uh, in that small place, there wasn't enough. Uh, kids uh, more than uh, seven, eight, so when we get 11 aside, that the things literally water down. Then uh, also, some parents, they think they know better, they go to the bigger clubs, uh, bigger with the uh, numbers of the kids, but not really with uh, some good programs. And uh, Winston parents, you know, they ask me what... Uh, I think what should be the best for him, and I said, listen, in this point, um, he is technically very sound and all that, but now he has to play uh, and start to develop his um, tactical ability, and for that, I can work one-on-one, or um, he has to be in a program in the, in the club. So I uh, contacted uh, my friends and the coaches down in Dinamo. I said, hey, send him over here, let him try, and if we think that is good enough, we will keep him. If not, honestly, he'll tell you, and we'll send him, to, uh, send him back. Well, uh, it turns out that uh, uh, they were very happy with him, and also he was uh, very happy to be there. Uh, also, uh, you, you know, in that age, it's not that easy just to leave the house and parents and live abroad in a mm, different country. But uh, obviously, his desire uh, to play soccer is uh, huge, and he already overcoming all, all those things. He's going in Croatian school. He got a tutor. Dinamo providing him the housing. Uh, uh, so he is doing well now. Uh, he's in the best path to uh, develop, but uh, you never know. Uh, no, there's no any promises that uh, because there's a lot of kids like him um, dreaming and being in that system, but not always everybody make it. But uh, Dynamo is one of the best uh, clubs for the youth development. Uh, Mm, uh, 
with a very good youth program. Uh, we know that from that program, a lot of players uh, went abroad and they're playing in the big uh, clubs like Modric, Eduardo, Chorluka, Lovren, Kancher, Pranic, Olic, Vukovic. Uh, so um, uh, in the past, there was the uh, Boban, Shukar, Prasenecki. So uh, Dinamo um, is financing themselves by selling those players. Uh, producing in the youth. So obviously youth system is the, um, one of the best of the world over there. So um, it's a great opportunity for him to be in that environment and uh, have a chance uh, to um, make it. Right. Now, uh, you were telling me the the Dynamo, they played in a tournament recently they or something. They played a lot of the other club teams in and around Europe. How, and how, did, how did they fare? Uh, well, uh, Dynamo was in, uh, like, uh, one tournament was an unofficial European championship for the youth. And... Uh, Actually, uh, ending up beating uh, Juventus, Real, Barcelona, uh, beating in the group Ajax, and uh, in the final they they met Ajax again. They tied them, and they lost in on the penalty kick. So, uh, end up second in in in, in the Europe. But uh, mm, like I said, it's in, uh, in at this point, also, even if they already have a good results and then all that results, they are not priorities. The priority is developing on the other players. And uh, I think uh, they have a very good coach uh, and uh, very good, good uh, in the talented group of the kids. Uh, so they, what they have to pass the really sharp selection. And uh, they, they are already one of the top uh, teams uh, in Europe for that age. So uh, I think that he wins that this is a good environment. And uh, like I said, it's, uh, there's a lot of factors where they can decide that he was going to make it all the way through. But definitely um, his situation and, and his odds to uh, to make it that much higher than if you stay in a small town in Attica in uh, New York and uh, maybe commute to Syracuse or stay and play in a small town with uh, uh, around with the kids who are there, not maybe that uh, talented or, or with the coaches uh, maybe not, not with that experience um, like I said, when we say there are a lot of things, uh, what is the difference between Europe and here is that, uh, uh, unfortunately, a lot of coaches over here is driven by uh, results and they try always to win, win, win uh, uh, under any cost. Uh, mm, there's a pressure from the parents as well because they're paying to play in the club and if they're not winning, they take the kids and they're going to a different club. Um, in uh, Europe, it's a little bit more uh, dif uh, different. Uh, the kids get selected. Uh, you actually don't pay um, to play, and only the best kids get selected. Uh, the kids would uh, they have a chance to make it. Um, then... Uh, uh, the coach is working on uh, developing uh, those kids uh, and they put them in the right environment with another kid uh, on the same level and you know, also in the system of the competition where uh, they have a year around uh, tough games uh, with uh, strong opponents and uh, through that they are uh, building up. And it's uh, for different, you know, age and all that. It's a different programs. What is the priority? When I was working with Vincent, like I said, I had him very young. Uh, besides fun, the emphasis was on the technical work. And we little bit start to do uh, on, on a simple group tactic. But, uh, again, I didn't have a, uh, around uh, 11 uh players would will be in the same level like the wins uh, and that we can 